Have you seen these type of articles before? Things like 12 things successful people do differently or 13 tips from the world's most successful people. The logic is, if it helped them get success, it should at least be somewhat helpful to you, right? Yet, this type of logic is fundamentally flawed and could very well make you worse off. To show just how easy it is to get fooled by these success stories, imagine this simple scam. First, get the email address of 50,000 people. Next, tell them you're part of a hedge fund that can accurately predict the stock market. Now, here's the trick. To half of them, say that the stock markets will go up and make up some reasonable explanation as for why. To the other half, say the stock markets will go down. Now, by the end of the week, the stocks will either move up or down. Let's say the stocks moved up. All you need to do is cull the half which received the wrong prediction. So, out of the remaining 25,000, once again, tell half that the stocks will rise and the other half that it will fall. At the end of the week, cull the half with the wrong prediction and repeat. Ultimately, by the end of week 10, you would have shown around 50 people that you can accurately predict the stock markets 10 weeks in a row. Sounds pretty impressive, right? In fact, if they then entrusted $10,000 to your hedge fund, you would have run away with half a million dollars. Now, you might be thinking, surely this doesn't happen in real life. Well, it does, but we are those 50 remaining people. Because we are so in awe of these successful people, we don't even consider that there might be some other huge factor at play, such as luck. For example, let's say you wanted financial advice. One hyper common advice given on how to get rich is to take risks because even if you fail, you can still learn from your failures. That makes sense, right? However, consider all the people who are bankrupt. No doubt they took risks too. So where's their success? Clearly, if we only listen to the winner story, there's no balancing force of bankrupt people telling us to be more careful. Another example, take a look at In Search of Excellence, a book which sold over 3 million copies. It analyzes about 50 excellent companies and identifies 8 common traits that propelled them to success. Yet, since then, out of the 35 companies which have publicly traded, 20 are falling below the market average. 5 even went bankrupt. Which begs the question, were these companies actually excellent? Or perhaps, were some of these 50 companies just the lucky ones out of a pool of 50,000? And if so, why should anyone listen to their advice? From here, you can see what the problem is. If you only take the advice of the so-called successful people and ignore all the failures, you're going to be left with a heavily distorted view of reality. This is known as survivorship bias. Furthermore, it doesn't just apply to financial advice. Let's say you wanted some relationship advice. Naturally, you'll search for some happily married couple of 40 years and ask, what's your secret to marriage? They'll give sensible advice too, like, focus on your partner's positive rather than their negatives. Now sure, this sounds like good advice. It might even work. Yet, it's only when you factor in both the happily married and the bitterly divorced that you get a better picture of what's really going on. Take a look at this graph. It follows the lives of around 2,500 German participants for 10 years. As you can see, those who are happily married are just happier to begin with. Even before they met their husbands and wives, they were already leading happier lives. On the other hand, those who ended up divorcing were naturally more depressed. Now, this isn't something people realize. Not many people would say, I'm happy with my marriage because I'm just happy about stuff in general. And yet, this seems like such an important factor. It suggests we should focus on improving ourselves before we think of improving our relationships. So, here's the bottom line. When it comes to complex things in our life, like marriage and getting rich, no one really knows what it takes to become successful. Therefore, when listening to the advice of successful people, be skeptical and make sure you aren't getting fooled. Instead, consider the failures and perhaps you'll learn more.